Yad A. Hello, I'm Anthony. Danse, I'm James. And, and we're, we're Team Agamemuk. Today, we're going to show you how to use the IKWC Virtual Library, a really awesome resource for all Indigenous people. The IKWC is owned and operated by First Nations and provides educational services to the nations of Treaty 6, 7, and 8. The IKWC Virtual Library is an online collection of resources for First Nations students on our environments, languages, cultures, and identities. It is also a great source of information, history, and perspectives on Treaty 6, 7, and 8. And it's available 24-7 on any device or computer. The stones marked K-3, 4-6, 7-9, and 10-12 are resources that are open to the public. They give a small sample of what's available. Clicking on K-3, for example, will reveal a number of resources such as Little Cookham Songs by Dolores Sand, who happens to be a language educator and advocate. Accessing the full library requires a login. If I were a high school student, I'd click here. And since I'm from Saddle Lake, Uchinia Unixkaponik, I would sign in with my Saddle Lake student username and password, and then search the database just like I would when using any other search engine. The key difference, though, is that you can find information on our people, our elders, and our nations developed by First Nations, or at the very least, in partnership with First Nations. How awesome is that? James, what do we get if you search Blackfoot? Well, since the Blackfoot are one of the larger groups within the Treaty 7 Confederacy, we get a number of resources. Hmm. Why don't you click on the story of Red Crow College? Sure. Each resource has its own page where you can see when and where it was made, who the author is, and what type of resource it is, and a short summary. And with each of these resources, one of the key strengths of the virtual library is the cross-referencing. IKWC researchers have identified the content and made links to other related material. So in this case, we'll try land-based learning. Look at all those great resources! Let's click on Exploring Math Through the Construction of a Lodge. Oh look! There's another video! Maybe we should show them how to create their own list of resources. Sure, that's easy. Just click here, and then the item gets added to your personal list so you can easily find it later. But if you have to save the full page of resources, just click up here. And if you ever wanted to clear your list, you can do that here. Okay, let's do another search. I know, how about the Cree Nation? Obviously, there's a lot of websites, videos, and articles. There's so much, because there's so many different types of Cree people. Of course you'd get excited about the Cree resources. Anyway, if you didn't find what you wanted, you can make a request by clicking this button. Then tell them what you were searching for. This is such a great tool for our people. We hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and we encourage you to explore all of this amazing information. And in your quest for learning, remember, never give up. That's right, Aga Maymuk. Happy searching. Aksamaga, Kiwapamtin.